is within each of us a twin destiny, the natural and the supernatural. The cards are attracted to the supernatural part of that destiny. The terrifying horror of a dreaded man called Dr. Terror, who, with his deck of mystic cards, could foretell destiny. Horrors the screen has never before dared to depict. Of all kind of the films from my childhood, Amicus ones were always a piqued my interest because of um, the invariable format was something that I adored, which is the idea of this uh, telling of four or five stories in one package. One of the interesting things about Amicus, given that they became second only to Hammer, really, as a producer of British horror films, is that it was set up by a couple of New Yorkers. Roughly speaking, Max J. Rosenberg was the businessman, and he stayed in the New York office for the most part. Milton Sabotsky was the creative director, if you like, and he, in fact, relocated to England. And ostensibly, their aim was to get their hands on some of the money from the Edie levy, which was a tax incentive uh, for filmmakers. Um, so it was set up for business reasons, but Milton Sabotsky, I think, had a, a real love of film and horror film and genre film in particular.